So friends, that's the Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I'm going to show you my No Gaps Solid Granny Square. Look at that, No Gaps. Because there is a time and a place where you like to have it all gappy, but sometimes if you want to make something, you don't want any of those extra little holes at the corners or in between your little granny clusters. So today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make a solid granny square. It's very simple. I'm using Big Twist today. This is from Joann's. It wants me to use a five, but because we are keeping these gaps as small as we possibly can, I'm actually going to use a four. I'm going to use a four millimeter hook instead, and I've chosen one of my new ones that has the cute little handle. These are so fun. I like them. I think they're really good little hooks. They're not anything extra special. They're just cute. So we're going to make a magic circle. So remember, magic circle is wrap, and then wrap again, and under, pull through, twist, grab, twist again, and right through. I do have a little tutorial, I think it's two minutes long, out there on how to do a magic circle or magic ring. The easiest way if you want to catch that, it's really, really simple. And my tail doesn't get extra long. There's some other ways to do it where you end up with a lot more waste. So here we go. And so we're going to start out, of course, in the middle. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. That counts as a triple crochet. Now we're going to also put three double crochets in our ring. One, two, and three, and another triple crochet. So that's two yarn overs. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Three double crochets. And a triple crochet, which is two yarn overs. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Three double crochet. One, two, three. And another triple, which is two yarn overs. Pull through two. Pull through two, and pull through two, and your final set of three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now we can pull our magic ring shot. There should be 16 stitches, so let's just count. So what we are going to do now to close this up, pull our magic circle closed, and slip stitch into our chain four, the very top one, the fourth chain. We're going to slip stitch into that, and now our center piece right here is complete. Again, this is one, two, three. This one I did one, two, three rounds only for a little square, and this one was four rounds. So you can make it as big or as small as you want. You just keep right on going and make a nice solid blanket. Pull that nice and tight. So what we're going to do now is our round two is chain four. One, two, three, four. That counts as our triple crochet. And into that same place that we just slip stitch, we want to put two double crochet. One and two. And we're going to do three double crochets, a double crochet on top of each double crochet that we did in the previous round. And 
three, and now we're to a corner because it's our triple crochet right here. Our next stitch is a triple crochet, the top of a triple crochet, so we're going to put in a corner, which is two doubles, double crochet, double crochet, and a triple, one, two, two yarn overs and pull through two, and pull through two, and pull through two, and also in that same stitch two more double crochets. So like on other granny squares that would be have a chain in between, we're putting a triple crochet in between instead, so we don't have the gap. That's how you get the no gaps. So then the next side is three double crochets on top of the double crochets from the previous round. And now we're to our next triple crochet, which is a corner. So it's two doubles, a triple, which is two yarn overs, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two, and two more double crochet. So that fills in that gap where we normally put a chain one. Three more double crochets along the side. One, two, three, and now we're to our next corner because that's a triple crochet right here. So again it's two doubles, a triple which is two yarn overs, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and two more doubles. And now we're almost done make it back over and finish our first corner. So here we go, one, two, three. Our last three stitches are along the side, so they're double crochets on top of the double crochets from the previous round. Now we're at our partial corner, so we have a triple crochet, because that was our chain four, that's a triple crochet, plus two doubles. So in that same space where we worked that, we want to add two more. Two more double crochets to finish out the corner to be just like the rest of our corners. And now we want to slip stitch into our chain four, the fourth chain, the top chain. Slip stitch so we can close up round two. And we'll do one more round. That was round one, there's round two. We'll do just like this one because now you've got the sequence. You just keep adding in, filling in the sides, a double crochet on top of every double crochet. So we are going to do a chain four, which remember counts as a triple crochet. In the same place we just slip stitched, we want to put in two more doubles. One and two. So there's our partial corner. So then don't miss this little guy right here. He's kind of an open, goofy looking little stitch. Just because we're changing to our round three, this one looks a little split, but we're going to use him. He is going to be right here with a double crochet. So again, double crochets on top of every other double crochet all the way across. There's two, three, four, six, and seven. So what you will be doing on each side, four increases for every round that you do on every side because of the double crochets that we added in our corner. So right now we are at our triple crochet, so it's time for a corner, which is the same as the previous round, two double crochets, and a triple. and a double, and another double. So every corner gets five stitches. Now we're going to work across to the next corner. Seven double crochets in a row. Six and seven, and now I'm at my next corner. So it's the same sequence as before. Two double crochets, a triple, and two double crochets. along the 
the side. We're going to have seven doubles. Seven. Now we're back to, we are on another triple crochet, so it's another corner. And then our last side, double crochet on top of every other double crochet. And six, and make sure you have seven. So now we're back to our half of or three quarters of a corner. So in the same space that we started that one with the chain four and our two double crochets right here. In that same stitch we want to add the other side of our corner. So that's two double crochet. So we can slip stitch into our chain four at the top. We are going to slip stitch into our chain four, the fourth chain, to finish this off. So there's our solid no gaps granny square. We'll finish it off any way you like. Weave in ends. I'm just going to pull that right there. For that no gaps. So there's a time and a place for gaps and there's a time and a place for no gaps and we're having no gaps today. That's why I used, if you recall, that's why I used a four millimeter hook even though this yarn wanted me to use a bigger one because I wanted every stitch to be as tight as possible so that it is a solid granny square with no gaps. So there you go, easy peasy, five rounds, only took me about ten minutes. So you could just keep going and going and going and making a huge blanket if you wanted to change colors as many times as you want. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business and please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.